Hi, my name is Kendall Hirschfeld. I'm on San Angelo City Council, single member District 5. And I'm proud to be serving on the city. And, uh, you know, I've lived in San Angelo my entire life. Uh, and um, my family has been here and uh, I've got wonderful family. That's a big part of my life. That's probably what takes up the most of my time with the exception of, you know, with work and other things like that. So. Uh, it's a, uh, San Angelo is a great place to live and the reason that I serve on the council is, is for my kids because the, there's people that came before me that wanted to do good things for the city, improve our water supply, our streets, our roads, everything like that and I figured it's my turn, my turn to step up and do what's right for the community and, and help others out. Uh, I live my life really simple, it's a matter of God, family and and values, and this is the things that uh, I like to share with the share with the community. Uh, my wife and I have a small business, and uh, we've had that business for probably f close to four years now. And we, it's fun. takes It's a lot lower stress from what I did previously. Obviously, I spent 25 years in the steel business and loved that. Stress level was a little bit higher. So this lowered my stress level down just a little bit. City Council helped bring it back up, but <laughs> that's, uh, it's not bad. It's actually, actually enjoyable. My hobbies, what I like to do is, really my hobbies are going to my kids' baseball games or basketball games or soccer or things like that. And when I'm not doing that, it's, it's other family events or going out in the country. And, uh, and just doing some hunting. And that's what I enjoy, just kind of the simple things in life. The biggest things that we've been addressing, of course, is the long-term water supply. And I think that is first and foremost on, on everybody's agenda. And that's citywide. That's not just uh, in my district. And in fact, what I, I like what we're doing now is we're moving it away from just the city to actually encompass other areas of, you know, some of the surrounding territories, the surrounding areas. Because water is a crucial item that I mean, we have to tackle together, and the more we can get uh, work together as a team, as a group, as an environment, then you know the, the more better effect I believe we can have for uh, our entire region. So I'm I'm excited about that. Um, you know, it, it's my district. It's it's about roads and about traffic, and it's about uh, uh, just general basic items that we have and. Uh, just do what I can. I serve on the council because I love this town. I love what it stands for. I love what we've done. Uh, yes, we have some great things. Yes, we have some not so great things, but that's why we're here for. I mean, we're here to help each other, help our neighbors do the right thing and uh, improve the city. Uh, the city has a lot going for it and has a lot uh, going for it in the future. So we need to take little steps here and there to what we can to improve for our, our children and future future generations. I guess one of my <laughs> one of my rants that I have right now is I guess it's treating it, it's about neighbors and it's about everybody remembering that you are a neighbor and I'm a neighbor and you're a neighbor and we all have neighbors treating each everyone with respect and dignity and respecting things that go on in your neighborhood and I believe that if, if more people paid attention to, uh, to that philosophy and thinking of other people's feelings and concerns in their, just in their simple neighborhood, we may not have as many issues that come and face the city council, like garage sales and things like that. You know, if, if we were a little more conscientious on both sides, for those that it bothers and for those that are having whatever it may be, a little more conscientious, I think we could all get along a little bit better and um, and just improve our neighborhoods, improve attitudes. My favorite thing about San Angelo has to be, oh geez, well look at me, I mean it's got to be the food. I mean it's, uh, San Angelo has a great, great lineup of restaurants and we, uh, and it, you know, it's the, eat, it's the pace of life. It's a little easier going life. I love going to the big cities and visiting but you know, you're going to drive for hours to go anywhere with lots of traffic and hassle and here you can go all the way across town in about 15 minutes and yet 
we're still getting a lot of the uh, big things that, uh, that everyone wants that the big cities have, hopefully without some of the congestion and, and crime and hassle like that. So I, that's, that, that to me is one of the, the great things that's, that San Angelo has going for it. As far as the future of San Angelo, I think we, we've got a lot, a bright future ahead of us because we're right in the middle, of the, the wind industry is just beginning to explode and I think we have an opportunity to expand on that. The solar is now taking on a boom and we have the potential to take that on very strongly out here in West Texas. We have plenty of sunlight and, um, and plenty of wind. So it's a, it's a great opportunity, I believe, to bring in other industries and expand markets here. And of course, that's employment and jobs and adding other businesses that go uh, simultaneous with some of the main businesses.